Let's answer another math CST question for the multi-subject exam. A car is set on a cruise control to travel at a steady rate of 45 miles per hour. The scale on the map for the area is 1 inch equals 10 miles. What is the most likely length of the line on the map for the distance the car will travel in 90 minutes? So we want to know how can we go from 90 minutes all the way to inches. How many inches will the car travel in 90 minutes? We have to try to use up all these numbers and these conversion rates to figure this out. This is a nice example of a unit conversion problem. So the way we want to do this, is we, want, we want to start with what we have. And what we have is we have 90 minutes. And let's just go ahead and put it over 1, just to make it um, more visually appealing. So we don't care for the minutes, so we want to we want to somehow use this fact right here. That 45 miles per hour. But we, only, we don't have anything in hours or miles right now, but we do have minutes. So how can we convert minutes to hours? Well, we know one hour is 60 minutes. So let's use that conversion fact. I want to put minutes at the bottom and hours at the top because I want to be able to cancel these units. So I'm left with just hours. So what's going on here? I have one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So now our minutes are gone, but now we have hours. So what's next? Now we can use this fact that the car is set on cruise control to travel at a steady rate of 45 miles per hour. So now let's get rid of our hours and change it into miles. Miles. So one hour is 45 miles because the car travels 45 miles per hour. And now I can cancel out these units, hour here and hour here. I think one more conversion we need, and that's this fact right here. One inch is equal to 10 miles. So miles at the bottom, and inches at the top, and one inch is equal to 10 miles. The miles will cancel, and we are left with just inches, which is what we wanted. So now let's do some calculator work. So let's multiply all the numerators. 90 times 1 times 45 times 1. And I will use my calculator for that. And get, let's see here, 90 times 45 is 4050. And then we'll divide it by, let's multiply all the denominators. 1 times 60 times 1 times 10. That one's a little easier. It's just 600. And don't forget, it's inches. So let's just divide this now. 4,050 divided by 600. And we will actually get 6.75 inches. Which is answer choice C. Let's see another way we can reason out this problem without having to go through all this unit conversion. So what do we know? We know one inch is 10 miles. And we know the car goes 45 miles per hour. So 45 miles is pretty much 40, close enough. Let's just think of it that way. So one inch is 10 miles, so four inches is 40 miles. And we don't want one hour, we want 90 minutes, right? 
90 minutes is just an hour and a half, right? So if, if, if we have about 40 miles for every one hour, we have about, about 20 miles per half an hour. And 20 miles would be, what, two inches, right? Two inches is 20 miles. So we have about four inches here and two inches here. If we add those together, we get about six inches. So our answer choice should be a little bit more than six inches because remember I, I rounded down this 45 to 40. And answer choice C is kind of what we're looking for. It's a little bit more than six inches. So if you're short on time, this is another method to try to get to the answer.